During the first match, Irina was on fire and she was really making a lot of shots. Uh, how did you face that? I think I went in a little slow and Irina was playing really, really well. And at first I thought maybe, you know, it was going to die down, but it really didn't in that first game. She was just on fire uh, throughout that whole, whole first game. So I feel like I just had to stay super composed, super positive with myself. Just know that she was going to make some good shots, but so was I. And I feel like I, at the end, I just got some energy and uh, kind of came out, made a couple shots at crucial moments. Um, yeah, but she was really pushing me to the limit in that first game. Yeah. Um, you guys being MLP teammates, uh, we saw a few exchanges at the net. Any any idea what you guys were talking about? Yeah, I mean, Irina's super friendly even when we're not uh, MLP teammates. Uh, so I'll definitely give her that. But at the net, she said, you think by now uh, I'd realize not to give you angles. And um, I just kind of like laughed and like kind of walked away. Um, but yeah, she just kind of keeps things light and fun on the court. And it always ends up to be a really fun match to watch. Yeah. Um, so you played both mixed and gender doubles before this uh, match started. Um, and we saw you drink some sips of Coke on the sidelines during your timeouts. Um, does that help you and your energy on the court? Yeah, I mean, I think it's like a last resort type thing. It's got some caffeine in it, some sugar, just to kind of get me going. Um, after, I, usually I like playing singles at the end and I was going into today really happy with the lineup, but I think now I kind of wish that I had played singles either first or second. Um, but can't change that now. Uh, looking forward to uh, hopefully the next time and I can switch the lineup, but maybe not. <laughs> Okay, you've completed your fifth Triple Crown in a row. What goes into training before Seattle to shoot for number six? Oh God, I don't even wanna think about that right now. Usually I'll train super hard um, before a tournament and then about three, day, three to four days before the tournament starts, I kind of take it down a notch and don't train as hard. Usually the day before a tournament, I'll just hit kind of every shot for singles, do a couple doubles things, but just kind of do an hour before the tournament kind of starts because I know the next four days are going to be super rough and tough on my body. So I think I'm going to take a little break, not do too much, and then before Seattle, kind of ramp it up a little bit and then kind of come back down again. Okay, last question. What makes for a more difficult triple, triple crown, heat or altitude? Well, I had both this time, so I don't know if I can really answer that question. I like a little bit of altitude because I seem to play doubles better in that. This was like, a, I think like 1500 higher than what I'm used to. I would say altitude because I do have heat in Florida, so I'm used to that. So let's go with altitude. Great. Well, congratulations. Thank you.